Okay, so these are called shipping boots. You put them on a horse. This is the front leg. It protects the entire leg when you are trailering a horse. That's another front leg there. These are the back legs. Um, not every horse needs to be needs to wear boots like this when they're being trailered, but there are some who are kind of dangerous to themselves because they get so scared um, that they need the extra protection. So those sold for $50 and um, just want to make a shout out to Traditional Equitation School out in Burbank, California. I was a working student there many years ago. And um, so if any of you guys are in the LA area and you're thinking about ta taking riding lessons or you have a kid who's interested in horses, um, take one of Carol Derry's classes at Traditional Equitation School at the LA Equestrian Center. Can't say enough good things about um, about Carol and what they've got going on at TES. I'll leave a link in the in the description down below. This is a cute little purse by Coach. It's kind of tote bag style with leather handles and a silky kind of fabric and this sold for $40. And this is a navy blue blazer by Jones, New York. It's size 42 long. And um, did I say navy blue? Yeah. So that sold for $30. All right, today we're sending out these audio books. They're Sue Grafton novels. And um, they're the, I think they're the abridged version of the novels. And they're all alphabetical. A is for alibi through I is for innocent. And those sold for $30. I'm also sending out these Dockers dress pants, new with tags. They're, they sold for $30. All right, just sold this Mexican style suit, sort of Western inspired. This sold for $25. The thing about these are the pants are tiny. The, um, the jacket is kind of average sized, um, short in the sleeves and stuff, but sorry, I'm rocking out to some uh, public enemy today. Um, but the uh, the jacket's kind of normal, but the pants are teeny, teeny, tiny. And I've been trying to sell this for a while, but the sizing has really thrown everybody off. But just sold it, 25 bucks. Okay, I've done a couple things in the last 24 hours, and suddenly I have sales like crazy. I put my I put everything in my store on a 10% Memorial Day weekend sale, and I also turned on my RSS feed. I didn't realize it wasn't on, but apparently it helps to... Um, generate more sales and drive traffic to your items. So today alone, this is what I sold. This is a Solomon. It's like a, um, like a trail running vest or a triathlon vest. It's got pockets and zippers and you can put your camel back in there. Um, these usually so sell for a lot of money, but um, my zippers are corroded. I don't know if it's from salt water or sweat or what, but I got $45 for it. So that's pretty awesome. And the buyer is really, really cool. We've been talking back and forth totally like that. Um, here we have a pair of Birkenstock sandals, everybody's classic Birkenstocks. These I just listed yesterday and they sold for $27. This is a pair of Pendleton um, wool Bermuda shorts. I've had these forever. I marked these down to $9 to get rid of them and they finally sold. Here's my favorite Sony Handycam. I love finding these because they always sell really well. I sold this for $89 today. And then lastly is this Laura Ashley skirt. It's kind of a, I think it's silk chiffon, uh, real pretty floral print. And that sold for $25. Here's one of these awesome roll up pianos. I sold this for 33 bucks just now and Take a moment to enjoy the English. Convenient for store and carry. 100 different rhythm section. This is good stuff right here, guys. 33 bucks. These are a pair of Cole Haan suspenders. They're wool, gray, check, and they sold for $25. And then this is a rug. It's all rolled up with just kind of multicolored stars all over it. This sold for $70. This is a very worn pair of Justin boots. You can see the ankles are really wrinkly. The soles are not in good condition. You can actually see the nail holes on the other boot. But nonetheless, they sold for $36.